want to go into a very specific type of wickedness a very specific kind of wickedness and it's like the peak the peak of wickedness it's called sex it has the most beautiful packaging ever it has the most appealing packaging ever but it's the peak of wickedness and if you could resist the temptation the force of the seduction and the deceit and the enticement of sex then you have won wickedness and the peak of it why do I say that sex is wickedness as a Christian let me not call Christian into it but I have to okay our body our body our spiritual health which is very important very important we have two realms we have the physical realm and we have the spiritual and they work hand in hand all of them are important i won't say the spiritual health is more important than the physical or the physical is more important than the spiritual they need to be in the same pace the same level and I would prefer a very high level of health and for us to achieve that we need to earn our body with this kind of discipline and this kind of rich health healthy healthy um um so our spiritual health will be very healthy by fighting sexual disgust sexual rottenness okay i don't want to go to explain to you or let's start a debate whether sex is good or not it's a choice it's a choice everything about your health is a choice you advise to eat healthy but it's your choice to eat healthy or not it's just applies to sex it's your choice to live a very healthy sexual life or not and the Bible's prescription about it is abstinence until marriage for our own health for our own well-being okay it's for us it's abstinence until marriage and if we were able to do that we achieve a very high level of health in our spiritual life our spiritual life will be so healthy and on sick which as a Christian what make Christianity as a human being your spiritual life your soul even need to be strong need to be equipped need to be very okay sometimes you have to deprive what the body wants for for you to be spiritually equipped I don't want to go to spiritual that is why this message is a prescription abstinence abstinence if you want to live healthy it's a choice you can still go do what you want to do and it's okay for you but if as a human being you want to live a very healthy life I prefer you to not focus only on your physical health let us focus on our spiritual health because this physical health is is something that is temporal 
but our spiritual health follows us for eternity if you believe in that if you don't even believe in that does not change the fact maybe i'm wrong but somehow somehow we need to be spiritually healthy and the prescription one of the prescriptions not that is the only thing when you stand from sex and you you're, you're now healthy spiritually you know that's not the only thing but I'm talking about wickedness in this aspect. The peak of wickedness is the wickedness we do to ourselves, which is the sex part. And sex also, because I tell you only about wickedness, it has a seduction. And sex is seductive. It forces you, forces you, forces you, forces you. You do it, 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 do it. So that is how it comes. So that is why it's wickedness. But if you're able to discipline yourself and say no, because I want my spiritual life to be very healthy. Just as my physical life is healthy, I want my spiritual life to be blossoming. Then I advise that you take the advice, this prescription, by avoiding it. It's not a must. It's a choice okay everything about life and health choices health health issues are choice you do what works for you and you take the consequences of whatever um, choice you choose okay but i'm just advising that we take this and it will help us improve so much so 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 much and you know what the real spiritual health when it's it's in its ultimate in its peak your physical can have no other choice than to be gorgeous than to be healthy than to reach its peak too there are ways for us to live healthy and still avoid sex it's all about discipline it's all about mindset it's all about mindset okay and i wish and wish i don't want to scare you like the preachers do scare you about sex i don't want to do that it's a choice you want to do it consider whatever you want to do you want to stop it i prefer you stop it if you're not you i don't mean spiritual health doesn't mean you do it physically sex is a spiritual something that is why Jesus says, if you think it in your heart, you have committed. Sex is very spiritual. You may be doing it with a woman and not do it with a man, or do it in your hand and not in your heart and not do it physically. You may do it by yourself and not with somebody. I don't care how you do it. The main thing is to start. Do not do it even in your heart or in your mind. Or physically or with anybody or with yourself or whatever style you invented because it's very creative art is very very creative do not do that it's preferable that you find a mate that your spirit and the spirit of the person connect and yeah then you have the song um, the stem <laughs> I hope it makes sense and if you don't it's okay if you like this like this video give the thumbs down if you love it thumbs up I just want to know okay take care bye